hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel mj here um before i get into this video i just wanted to let y'all know you know like i was really rushing this morning because i have to go do like this little job thing it's like an all day thing so i had to really like slay my face and like be a little natural and be a little glowy and a little zoomy with a little glossy and some contacts because i had to be extra but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that and yeah that's all i really wanted to say to you guys so um if you want to know how i got this look please keep watching Mwah! okay guys so first i'm going to be using this palette and i do not know the name of this palette because this was like the first palette that i ever got but i'm going to be using that white shade just for my inner corner now i'm going to be going in with the morphe's palette to um do most of my eyeshadows and i know i use this palette like in every video it's because i love it so much but going in with this peach pinkish shade that's going to be my first transition shade so with this look i was really trying to go for something natural looking because i was going to like you know this little job thing and i wanted to keep it nice and natural but still pretty now going in with a like chocolatey suede type of color for my second transition shade or my crease shade or you want to call it i was kind of putting it like in the crease and like a little bit on the transition shade too so you know really really, really. then going in with this it's kind of like a um what would you say that is like a i don't know i don't know like i'm really I'm really not good at like giving names for colors. I don't know. You guys see. It. Now I'm going in with another brown shade. It's like a fudge type of shade. I just basically went like where my lash line was at because I wanted to smoke that out just a little bit. I didn't want to do too much, you know, because I wanted to make sure I kept the look natural. So I just went to my um lash line or whatever and kind of smoked it out a little bit. Then going in with that next, that's like a goldy, gold, golden, a goldish type of tone, type of color, <laughs> type of color. And I just basically use that on top of, you know, my earlier shade. And I already applied my foundation and everything off camera. So now I'm just highlighting with Fawn or whatever. And I'm not really going to say much during this part because this is the same old, same old. There's nothing new that I do is the same routine in every video so yeah and like i'm just basically going to be you know setting my under eye concealer or whatever setting my face and also contouring with the elf um contour kit and their brush as well you know just the same old same old and i really like how this look came out it was really nice and natural and glowy a little bit but the only thing that i don't like yeah like y'all gonna be able to see it at the end it's kind of like one of my highlights on my cheek looked kind of like a streak like i didn't notice that until i think like edit this video so it didn't look like that to me like when i was looking in the mirror you know kept double triple checking myself like i didn't see that but that's how it looked on camera, so I don't know, like, why it looked like that. I don't know if it really did look like that. I just didn't see it, but I don't know. 
But the best thing that I can tell you to do is to blend it out. Like, after you put your highlight on, just go back in with, like, your blush brush. Because it shouldn't have that much product on there. And just go back over it or whatever. Or take a clean, fluffy brush and still just go back over it. Just to make it nice and seamless so it won't look like you got a zebra stripe on your face like I looked like in this video. But, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, point that out. So somebody be watching the video like, <laughs> look at that zebra stripe on her face. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah. And I did put in contacts in this video. Um... The name of the contacts, I do not remember the name of them because I threw the box away. But the the color that I got was marble gray or whatever. I cannot I'ma look I'm gonna try and look it up on the internet, see if I can find it. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna have to go back to the store that I purchased them at and just buy some more, get the name of them or whatever for you guys, just to tell you guys or whatever. But it like if I don't find it on the internet, it's pro it's not going to be in the description box, but, like, I end up letting you guys know, like, you know, what was the name of it. If you're interested in knowing or whatever, like, if you were contact or whatnot, I don't know. And, like I said, I wanted to keep this look natural or whatever, so I tried to do natural blush. Like, you know, something soft. I didn't want to, you know, make my blush, like, dark or use, like, a dark color. Berry color. I wanted to keep it nice and soft and pretty. And I did go in with extra. I'm not gonna lie, I did. I did go a little heavy with the highlighting or whatever because I did want to be a little extra glowed up, <laughs> glowed up. So I did go in a little extra. And a tip, just like if you want um your highlight to be a little extra, you can like like an extra glowy look you can um pick up the product with your brush or whatever whatever you use the indian spray it with your setting spray or your fix plus or you know whatever you use to like you know make stuff more pig pigmented that junk work so because i do it sometimes and then sometimes i don't now i'm going in with this little brown lip liner i'm gonna do a nude lip like i always do when I do new looks, I really like new lips. Like if y'all can't tell, I really do. Like almost every video, I do a new lip. I don't. I know. I I gotta start doing other stuff because I had. I just bought like a whole bunch of little LA girl um lip 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 lipstick things, lip glosses, matte lip something. I bought like a whole bunch of different colors, darks, you know, nudes or whatever. And I was thinking about doing like a lip lookbook or whatever a lip book whatever you want to call it i don't know but yeah thinking about doing that but going in with the maybelline you know the same, it's the same stuff that i use every video i really love maybelline truffle teeth and a revlon it reminds me of mac then just going in with the highlighter and my tear duct or whatever to give it that extra pop i do that most of the time when I'm doing a natural look because I want my eyes to have a little extra zing to it. So, you know, that's what I do. And see, like, there it go right there, y'all. Like, like a zebra strike on my right cheek. <sighs> but, yes, this is the finishing look. It was nice and natural and glowy. Like... I got a whole bunch of compliments on my makeup that day. People was just on it. They're like, oh my goodness, you make a little soda. I'm like, thank you. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I need more subscribers. Y'all, let's get a hundred of them. Let's just do this. We can do this. Till next time. See y'all in my next one. Mwah.